Hi everyone, I'm glad you're here. Thank you very much for joining me. Yeah, Lake Amanor is still rocking and rolling. Ever since May 11th, they had that magnitude 5.5 earthquake. The earthquake occurred at 8.55 a.m. And there was another one shortly before at a 2.9. Here's the location of that 3.5 earthquake. Geologists are saying, and I've been saying this for a long time, with the weakening of the Earth's magnetic field and the heating up of the Earth's mantle, we are seeing a reactivation of ancient faults. Uh, supposedly, geologists knew that there was ancient faults through here, but have not been active in over 15,000 years. USGS is listing 106 earthquakes. Let's bring this down in the last 30 days. Uh, let's see, we'll go down to the uh, one on the 11th. There it is. Um, right there, I believe that is a magnitude 5 point. Oh, no, that was on the 10th, the 5.2. I thought it was the 11th going up here. Okay. When I did my report about that, Back then, I talked about, um, yeah, all the things that are going on, the snow melt, the weight of the um, water and ice, etc., and the weakening of the Earth's magnetic field. Now, this earthquake, the initial one, was only 3.8 miles in depth, and there was some that were deeper. Let me go back up here. Um, the 3.7 that occurred this morning. That was 5.2 miles in depth. And then there was a 2.9 also today. 4.5 miles in depth. Let's see. And let's see. Looks like we got, what, 4 today? A 2.3, a 2.2. 1, 2, 3, 4. Yeah. I also had reported how this area is capable of having a magnitude 7 earthquake. And we talked about Mount Lassen. If they did have a large earthquake, yeah, there is a possibility it could cause the eruption of the volcano. So any type of structure that may have already had damage from the initial 5.5, I guess they downgraded it. You could have more, more damage from the smaller earthquakes, did you? If so, please put the comments down below. And I'd like to know also... How long the earthquakes lasted? Uh, what direction did it feel like they were coming from? Uh, the motion? Um, how did your pets react? And what kind of damage have you had since the initial 5.5? PG&E evidently inspected Canyon Dam after the 5.5 uh, earthquake. Found there was no problems. This image is from 2022 when the water levels were still low. Now going to street view, I believe this image here is from um, uh, January, maybe, of this year. I could be wrong. Those of you that live there would know how much water is in the lake. USGS gave it an intensity level of 4. It was spelled as far as uh, Lake Tahoe, it looks like. Bring this out a little bit. Oh, Napa. Napa Valley. Let's see. That would have been intensity level 2 there. Uh, let's see. Uh, Grass Valley, California, intensity level 4. Um, there by Tahoe 2. Interesting. Westwood, intensity level 4. Um, Herlong, intensity level 3, and Chester, intensity level 4. So intensity level 4 means it was felt indoors by many people, outdoors by a few. At night, some may have been woken up, dishes, windows, and doors were rattling. And you might have noticed um, automobiles rocking noticeably at, you know, where they were parked. Here's the moment tensor ball. 
We got the fault line. It moved going northwest a little bit. And there's a little bit of spreading. First wave of the earthquake, which is interesting, came almost from straight up towards the south. Tension was applied going east. Now the uh, 2.9. Yeah, the uh, initial earthquake came from straight up and you can see that the fault moved going uh, north um, west a bit. And again, tension was applied going east. Yeah, um, the uh, magma chamber for Mount Larson, Lassen could very well be to the south of the volcano. Uh, this image here, we got north on the left and south to the right. And it shows uh, gas and depleted thermal waters. Um, we got different hot springs listed. And uh, yeah, water vaporation, evaporation, excuse me. See, this is that magnitude 5.5, which they downgraded to a 5.2. Yeah, spreading which could be an indication of uplift. That's why I was curious about the, um, yeah, the uh, magma body for the volcano. So here we have the hazard map and the direction that people should be aware. Yeah, for plumes and ash and yeah, the surge of the volcano. Over here, down here at the bottom is Lake Aminor. Aminor, sorry. More coffee. Between 1914 and 2021, Lassen Peak emerged from inactivity with a series of steam explosions, dacite lava flows, and volcanic and mud flows. There were 200 to 400 volcanic eruptions during that period of activity. On May 22, 1915, an explosion occurred from the eruption of Lassen Peak. It devastated the nearby area and rained volcanic ash as far as 200 miles to the east. That eruption was the most explosive eruption between uh, 1914 and 1917. The uh, population is a lot greater now than what it was back then. And of course, you'd have to worry about um, pyroclastic flows. You can't outrun a pyroclastic flow. So what are your thoughts? Put your comments down below. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Please like and share. And always be prepared for any type of disaster. And I'll talk to you later. God bless you all. Bye.